What's up guys, Lou here back with another video. And as you can tell, I'm in an unusual location out here in the main area of the new Unbox Therapy headquarters where we have a gigantic 135 inch projection screen. But this video is actually about what's running it and what we use it for. Up there on the ceiling is the new Epson Home Cinema 3500 projector, which is a bright, affordable 1080p solution that does both 2D and 3D. And Epson sent it out and said, hey, dude, take a closer look, hook up your setup and see if you like it. So that's what we've been doing and what we're gonna go a little more in depth on today. And in this installation, I've actually gone ahead and installed a motorized uh, screen which falls right in front of a flat panel television. Now obviously, like most projectors, this is gonna work better at night or in the dark. That being said, with 2500 lumens, you can actually get a fairly usable image and pleasing image even with some ambient lighting on. So this is my first time installing a projector and this one made it pretty easy because it is equipped with both horizontal and vertical lens shift. So even if you don't get it straight on with the screen, you still have quite a bit of play to make sure that your image lines up correctly. It also has built-in speakers, which are surprisingly decent. Obviously, if you can go with external sound, you're going to get an extra level of immersion. So the Home Cinema 3500 has plenty of different interface options, including the latest connectivity that you'd expect. There are two HDMIs with MHL compatibility, so you can hook up game consoles, receivers, anything that takes HDMI. You guys know about HDMI. I don't need to teach you about HDMI. Now, some people are a little bit concerned about getting a projector for themselves because they've heard rumors that you're constantly changing bulbs, lamps, and it's costing you money, especially if you use them consistently. But there has been major progress made in the efficiency of these units. This one, for example, can do 3,500 hours on regular standard mode or up to 5,000 on eco mode. It also has a number of other saving techniques. So probably the coolest thing about having 135 inches is the impact. When people come over, they check it out, they watch a movie, they watch some sports. I put a UFC fight up there. The immersion is intense. Even sort of beyond resolution, just having that lifelike size is incredibly engaging. You add the sound to it, if you can put a basic 5.1 setup with a subwoofer, it's really like no other experience. I've had plenty of large flat panel displays that have a hard time really replicating what this thing is capable of in a much more affordable package. Granted, you will need the space to install it, and as mentioned earlier, it's gonna perform better in dim environments. If you are in the market for one of these projectors, what you can do is measure your space and figure out how big of a display you'll be capable of having, because you do need some distance from the projector to the screen in order to get these really large sizes. You could go even bigger, you could go up to 150. One more thing to remember, the bigger you go, the bigger each individual pixel is. So you're probably gonna wanna sit a little bit further back. But at this range right here, it's kind of a sweet spot, especially when you're sitting right in front of it with the proper 5.1, the satellite speakers. It's just a really special experience. You're all invited for the next Super Bowl. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. Thanks as always for watching, and thanks to Epson as well for letting me check out this Home Cinema 3500. If you're interested in pricing and availability on that unit, I'll drop a link down in the description. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to leave a thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Later, guys.